up YouTube so you ever wake up not feeling so great um, I did that this morning and I think it's because I drink too much milk right now I'm eating um, too much meat what else um, milk meat bread to meat bread noodles carbohydrates sugar so um, I'm gonna change that today hopefully and uh, so far today all I've drinking is coffee and I've eaten like one little thing from the yard um, one little like leaf and then it gave me a thought of making this video and showing you guys what I'm gonna do to get healthy here we're gonna walk around the yard and eat some things so gonna come on down here to our collards this is baby collards that uh, sprouted up from seeds so we're just gonna get some of them sprouts mmm And so my goal here today and starting today forever I love coffee plus coffee kind of makes me not so hungry and so I'm gonna drink coffee and then I'm gonna eat a bunch of stuff from the yard and um, I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life that isn't gonna really happen but that's how I approach everything because this is how I approach stuff in life. Everything's going to happen for the rest of my life. So, all right, this is cool. So if you don't have gardens like mine, you can find weeds. And these guys, you'll find these guys everywhere, at least in San Diego here. That is a wild geranium. Very good. Let's see what else we can eat. I'm gonna eat a little bit of grass. Cats do it. All grass is edible. Come eat some of the sour grass clover. Because why not? Cool, I didn't even think about this, but I actually got gardens here. I got lettuce. Swiss chard, great thing to grow if you're just starting a garden. Um, one of the most successful successful things. So easy a Swiss chard. I think this might be arugula. And Thai basil. So, in one of my videos, I diverted the um, kitchen sink out here. And um, now what we got going on is a little river. It's kind of nasty. I need to put like a compost there or something to catch all the nastiness. But it goes underneath the sidewalk. And then goes down there. And this is the coolest thing, man. Everyone needs this. Everyone needs these in their yard. I don't know why we send all our water down the down the uh, sewer. All right. Can't touch these, but these are potatoes. Another bucket. Pretty stoked on the um, potato progress. This is gonna be yams in here. They're planted, and this is how we did the potatoes too, is you start them small, and then as they grow up, you just put dirt right on top of them. And then they grow up um, better and better as you continue to do it. So I'm gonna put dirt on top of these. Bam. And uh, make more potatoes. Here's a trippy plant. Don't know what it is. Some kind of broccoli family. Oops. And this one is being watered another river comes from our bathtub and shower there's the last tree it waters there's an avocado tree and there's a there's a um, apple tree underneath that avocado branch there
Oh, check this out. Is that beautiful or what? That's our new banana flower coming up. And uh, these banana trees are only a couple years old. Only started with a, maybe a handful of them, maybe five or six at most. And um, now we got those bananas brewing. Those bananas coming. Those ones over there doing good stuff. Ooh, see it's so fun. I plant gardens all over our yard and you forget about them. I completely forgot about these and um, just been eating a lot of stuff besides vegetables. And so now it's time to do a little bit of a vegetable fast, but I'm going to keep coffee in there. Just, I don't know why I like coffee. They haven't made a coffee anonymous yet. Otherwise I'd have to join it. Well, uh, let's see. Longevity green. Here's a blueberry. And this is really cool. Blueberries have sucked in our yard really bad. Keep on dying. But what we got is the washing machine lets out right here and goes down the third river in our yard watering all these plants and trees some sugar cane right here so the plants and trees and um that's what our washing machine waters there there's that one another banana same one but different angle This is just a weed. This was a macadamia nut tree that got cut off at the ground. And um, I just like the foliage. Uh, sort of a cover crop. Stuff growing in your yard, I believe, makes your yard healthy and, and stuff like that. So I really make stuff thick like a forest. Or I don't make it at all. God makes it. But I just allow it to grow real thick like a forest. <clears throat> cabbage leaf cabbages are not doing good but no stress at all plants don't do good bugs come it doesn't matter the fact that you have the plant there and it's not doing good tells you something about the soil i'm not sure what but um but it does tell you something's lacking some kind of nutrient or um and so what i find though is that if your soil sucks you just want to grow stuff all over your whole yard and just let it, don't rake it up and put it in your green container and send it down the trash. You want to grow stuff in your whole yard and you want to um, have it grow, have it die, have the bugs come and eat it. And in five years, your soil will be a hundred times better than, you know, we've lived here for five years, so your soil will be a hundred times better than when you first moved there. Um... But uh, yeah, it's, I think that's called a cover crop. So I'm not concerned about bugs. Love bugs. They bring they uh, bring fertilizer to your yard. Um, I love weeds. I love plants of all kinds growing to an extreme overgrown level in your yard. All my neighbor's stuff, if they rake up their leaves and they're going to throw it away, I just take it from them. <clears throat> I took maybe 20 bags of leaves for my neighbor underneath this avocado tree here. And... What it ends up translating into is better soil. The leaves are gone now. Bugs have eaten them <coughs> and it ended up making better soil. Well, that's that. I um, feel like I've got a little something in my stomach now. Before this video, I literally had nothing except for one like sour grass stem like this guy. And, uh, now I feel like I got a little something. I got to go work. And so what I'm going to do is, as I walk into someone's house or around anywhere I'm at today, 
I'm going to be looking for weeds. And I'm going to um going to find edible weeds and take a branch off, or take a uh, leaf off them and just eat them and try to constantly not get to the place where I'm so hungry that I end up going and getting a double double cheeseburger whopper with a super sized fries and a 40 ounce coke which um I haven't had one of those type of meals for like 10 years but I do go and eat crappy in my own way so anyways hope this video helped your life um helped you feel better taught you something about eating um from the yard and uh, also the flavors that I'm tasting right now they don't have they're not um they're not the flavors I'm tasting right now are not uh I don't know how to say it super spiced up and and made uh better with um with salad dressing and or even olive oil and balsamic vinegar salt pepper which I put on my salads typically so the flavors that you're tasting right now are natural flavors that when you would have walked around the um places and had to eat stuff uh back a hundred years ago this is what you would have had to do and um so the, these are natural flavors that do your body extreme good and um something i always notice when i go on these types of diets because i do this in an extreme way i go on these diets is um my i everything starts to taste really really good like really good and also i notice a crazy amount of healthy food going into my system and um because you get hungry you have to eat all day long and so it's a phenomenal thing to do if you feel crappy um if you feel bad i should say i'm trying to um, hone my language to uh to a better language so if you feel bad then um if you're not feeling healthy you're not feeling good then uh just try to do this try to do this everywhere you go even if you eat unhealthy all the time try to eat one leaf one leaf a week one leaf a month of a weed or um something straight off the plant into your system and that one leaf will make you that much healthier than you were prior so anyways hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day have a blessed day adios